welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike, the explosive one, and we are playing Madden 2-2. Uh, Madden's 2-2? Yes, Do we are. <laughs> Madden's 2-2. I like deuce. that. It's a ballet game. <laughs> It's just John Madden in a ballet. <laughs> this is 22, though, right? Yeah, Madden right. 22, dude. Yeah, I, you know what I hate, Jonas? I hate when cars and video games come out with numbers that are not representative of the year that they actually come out. Um, You mean like every car ever, in every game every yeah. year? Yeah. Why are you going to come out with the, tw the 2022? You know what's funny that I did here, 21? though? Is uh the WWE game is coming out. It's mad. It's WWE 22 or whatever. Uh, they, uh, they're they they're pushing it till March. So it actually is going to come out in 22. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. They're there pushing go. it because the last one was so bad they skipped a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they hired like some third party company who had never dealt with like a wrestling game to do it. Did they get back with Ukes is the question. Uh, no, they're 2K. 2K's okay. doing it. All right. So, but that's still, but that's still a company. But I think 2K did the other ones, but it was trash, dude. It was bad. I didn't even mess with it. Hopefully oh. they remedy some of those issues. Yeah. I mean, hey, they said they were rebuilding the game from the ground up, but it was just interesting. That's one instance of the game coming out in the proper year, but only because of a delay. Yeah. I wonder if that has something to do with uh, the rumblings about uh, Vinnie Mac wanting to get out of the game. Oh, yeah. They, uh, dude, I kind of wish they would sell <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance. <laughs> I mean, it's all about how much money you can make, and when it's a lot, and when you can make someone look like a fool like that. Um, Ooh, you mean like you just made these oh. jerk-offs look like a fool? Oh, it's the Michael Jackson. Into, into the, the freaking whip, dude. Whip, Jackson, whip. Huh. I don't know what that, is that something? That's what he did. He, he did the whip, then he did the Michael, then he went and did a whip again. Oh, he did. Okay. All right. Let me whip, whip, then I nay nay. <laughs> you know it's crazy what's that the uh like i don't know if this is known to everybody but uh the guy who made the watch me whip watch me nay nay yeah his name is silento okay, okay. seemed like a nice little poppy song the kids were singing it and doing a little dances it's a young person song it's a zoomer song it's like uh it's like when superman came out um ex yes exactly like that jonas I have no idea. But yes, the nice little nice little kid song. Actually, he's in jail right now for homicide. Oh, he murdered someone. Yeah, you know. I mean, somebody probably disrespected him. It's actually, actually like somebody in his family, I guess. Oh my God, like a, a, famil, a family dispute. Yeah. Ooh, and yeah. he's off, folks. Now, I don't know about you, Jonas, but I've definitely had to fight family before. Uh... What the hell happened there? Um, oh, yeah, dude, off. I've never fought anyone in my family, but I just, I don't ever hang out with them. It's usually like a like a distant cousin that you have to throw down. They with. show up and get all disrespectful of the family, and you're yeah, like, yo. Yeah, like they're from a different neighborhood or something, <laughs> or, you know, like, look, it, it's, it's, it's very well known that... It, you know, we like to we like to poke fun. You know, we don't mean nothing by it. We just kind of like testing, testing your gumption. See how if you testing your your uh, your balls. See yeah. how much of a man you is. Nah, you know, can you can you come back? I ain't seen you in twenty years. I'm gonna t I'm gonna test your manhood <laughs> in front of the whole family. I feel like I feel like if you went to the deepest part of the hood and went up to the scariest African American male you could find. And he was like, you know, what the F you doing here? And you said something that was like funny, but like, you know, demanded respect. I don't, I'm not giving you anything to say because I don't know. Looking for your mom's panties. <laughs> that's right. That's what you should say, right? <laughs> Maybe not that one. <laughs> Maybe not that one. <laughs> Bring your mom's panties back. She left them in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like, you know, that's that's gonna earn you a pass. It's it's a ba it's a battle of the mind. To well it's true extent. too because like it's the it's like, you know, people uh people say, Oh, if you Ooh. go into if you go into a bad neighborhood, XYZ's gonna happen to you. you no, know, you know what okay, happens what if say? you go into a, a bad neighborhood talking ish or looking scared as F, 
<laughs> then people are gonna smell your fear, dude, and like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, but yeah. if you just like, I have never had problems in a bad area ever because yeah, yeah. I just go in. I'm respectful. I don't make extended eye contact. You know, it's like you don't yeah. like you don't do stuff that you know can like set somebody off if they're looking to have a bad time. <laughs> and you don't look like you're afraid to be there because that that ish, <laughs> you could smell that. Like you get out of your car and someone's like. Somebody's not used to being around here. Let's go find them. <laughs> but anyways, back to your... Uh... I always remember the story of uh, <coughs> I was walking, like, uh, me and a friend of mine had gone to Toys R Us to go get action figures with our allowances. Oh, this is like a story about you being a child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I just didn't know. No, what... this was last week, Joe. This <laughs> last week, me and my buddy went to Toys R Us. I know you're lying because they closed. <laughs> but I remember we were going to Toys R Us and, like, uh, I don't know if we were, like, maybe, like, 11 or 12 at the time. Okay. But, like, this 16, 17, 18-year-old group of two, there was, like, two guys. They came up to us and they just started intimidating us and asking us if we had money or something. Right, right. And, like, I, at the time, I was, like, terrified because I was like, man, these teenagers are going to, like, they're going <laughs> to kill me. And they're going to take my, my, my sex, my six ninety nine. My sex. Like, whoa, <laughs> my... whoa kind of. <laughs> they're going to take... take my sex. My they're going to take my six ninety nine that I was hoping to get this doomsday uh, Superman action figure with. And what am I going to do? But now that I look back on it, yo, they was just having fun. I could see myself. <laughs> it's not like I would do this, not at the age I am now, but yeah, I could see myself having some fun with some kids. Hey, hey, give me some money. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like terrified for their life, but you know what? That builds character, god dang they're it. Like, we almost died today. <laughs> 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 when really all they said was, hey, give me some money. Yeah. And like walk behind you, like put put your finger in your pocket, like you got a gun. No, oh, wow, I don't know about that. <laughs> You're like, give me some money, kids. I didn't say it went that far, but, but no, uh, they, they definitely <laughs> just like like some mild intimidation. So anyway, so you were talking about family and like, so you're saying oh, that yeah, that's what's happened. Like it was just yeah. like, it was like you start talking ish and then somebody goes a little too far and then somebody gets their feelings yeah. hurt and then everybody's yeah. like, go step, take this outside. And you're like, all right, yeah. <laughs> sure. You know, there, there'd be some jealousy, you know, don't, don't, don't have money or be educated or something. <laughs> don't have money or be educated. Yeah, people hate that. <laughs> <laughs> poor and Look at you coming all up here with $500 in your bank account thinking you're all hot. <laughs> poor, poor and stupid people hate it, man. They hate that. Oh, yeah, that's poor. What'd you say? <laughs> said poor and stupid people hate it when people are when people aren't broken or educated. They do. <laughs> like, oh, you coming in here with a big brain? <laughs> coming in here knowing shit. <laughs> oh, oh! Him stealing that, dude! I scored a touchdown with an offensive lineman last oh, game. Oh my god! Spoiler Jones. alert. It's not a spoiler if it happened yesterday. Jonas, the Titans are actually putting up a little fight, dude. They got a little bark and some bite. Yeah, dude, they, 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 they're trying to bring my mom's panties back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude, they're, they're holding their own, I guess. You, you came for the bulls and you're getting the horns, big boy. Ooh. Oh, All was, right, there we go. You put that man in so much danger. He I don't lost care his about life. their safety, though. He could have lost his life. I wish. You were the most, like, just... You're the worst quarterback, dude. You know, like, real football players, when they're put in situations like that, they take it out on a quarterback. Yeah, dude. I've, I've, Did you like, slip him a 50 after the game? You can't put me in a situation that's going to, like, me trying to catch the ball it's is going to end my life. For life. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, the quarterbacks have to take that in consideration. Yeah, but, you know, it's all about the win, dude. It's the W. It's not about your life. It's about the team win. Yeah, if it's the playoffs or if it's, if it's the, the play or it's if Super Bowl. It yeah, but, like, if you see a guy jumping for a ball because he's like, I'm open, but there's, like, two guys ready to, like, hit him from either side. I just tripped over my own <laughs> man. <laughs> I saw it. He was Dude. wide flipping open, too. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you're, yeah, you are supposed to try to, like, not kill. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, you, you get a bad reputation if you, if you do yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. And eventually your offensive line might be like, oops, blitz. 
Yeah, old Tim Tebow over here throwing the, you know. Oops, sorry that blitz got through, but you're trying to get us killed. There's got to be a little bit of like, uh, I don't want to say like resentment, but like the quarterback is like the most protected piece on the field. Oh, he didn't. Ooh, oh, absolutely. Was... Well, but do they also make the most money and are a lot of times the reason the team is winning? So, like, you know, it's if if you pay a dude twenty million dollars a year and somebody smashes him and he uh, don't go in the end zone. Oh, look that's at that. beautiful, actually. Um, you I'm... know, it's like they're worth they're way bigger of an investment than it was in like the nineties. All right, so you you know a little bit more about football than I would say me or even the average person. Probably, probably. yeah, I would say that's probably accurate. So, has a team ever went to the big game and won the big game with a quarterback who was not the best, but because the other pieces on the team were so competent? Oh yeah, absolutely, dude. There's lots of things. like even when Ben Roethlisberger won his first Super Bowl. I was going and I was going to bring that up. I was going to say because he was a rookie. Yeah, he was trash, man. He was he wasn't very he dude, he had so many games that were like he had eighty yards and two interceptions yeah, okay. that season. All right. I do remember that. He was season not vividly. very good. But the team around him was amazing and he didn't lose. Yeah. Jerome Bettis. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Yeah. Heinz Ward, yeah. Yancey Figpin. They had a lot oh of good my players. I think, I, think they, I think they still No, yeah, they didn't have Yancey, they had Plaxico. They That's had what Plexi, it was. Yeah, but uh Plexi but you West. know, like I think uh the Ravens when they won, uh not with Joe Flacco, they had like Trent Dilfer as their quarterback. Like but mm. their defense was uh, amazing was like you know the the you know so there's there's been in, but like you have a better chance of winning yeah if you have a good quarterback but it's yeah. not impossible to do it definitely I, I've, I've definitely seen a lot of big name quarterbacks obviously with the uh who we have winning right now um baker i mean no. <laughs> oh the thomas tom brady and yeah Patrick Mahomes thomas and yeah, I mean, Tom Brady goes to the Bucks and they win a Super Bowl. I mean, that shows just how yeah. much, if you already have a decent team and you bring in a good yeah. quarterback, how yeah. much that can change. Yeah, yeah, fair, facts. But you can also take a really good quarterback to a team that's not so great, and they won't do as good. They, yeah. you, can't, you can't turn poo into gold every time. All right, so quarterback is it's the queen, or the king, I should say. <laughs> the queen, yeah. It it's basically because if your quarterback sucks, I guess like your your whole team can basically fall, can crumble. Yeah. yeah. Who, who's the second most important position? Uh, Probably, um, I don't know, dude. It's, Would you say wide receiver, running back, teams? tight the, end? Well, the wide receiver is a good thing, but... Uh, what, but, like, if you have a crap quarterback, dude, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So, quarterback's number one. Who's number I'd two? I'd say probably the, uh, how, if you don't have a good quarterback, you need a good running back. Okay. Because, like, if you can give somebody the ball and they can run and, like, they can, on their own can score, you know, and you just have to kind of be serviceable and, like, get the ball in their hands. Get the yeah, ball in their hands. Short passes to short receivers. Passes. Exactly. Um, but if you, but any more running backs have become more of a dime a dozen. Because oh. it's, it's not not saying it's easy, but it's it's uh it's not. Pe there's like six round running backs that come out of nowhere and all of a sudden are like almost superstars. You don't have to take a a top pick draft pick running back anymore. Because huh. because now you know they I mean basically football in high schools and college they're basically just football farms dude so it's like everyone's yeah. being bred to yeah. be and I could see like uh running running back is definitely like another one of those high profile uh type of positions so I could see a lot of guys going for that like oh. a lot of guys want to be quarterbacks and you got a lot of these like prodigy quarterbacks yeah. who come to the league and they're trash yeah well they call them skill position it's quarterback running back wide receiver uh cornerback on defense because mm. you have to be able to guard a wide receiver so you have to have good like body control and like wherewithal and like all this other stuff um but other than that you know it's like defensive and offensive line it's like you gotta be big they can make you strong you know what i mean they can give you the proper weight training and everything and technique but if you aren't if you're five five 180 pounds they're like i want to be an offensive lineman they're like sorry buddy <laughs> like it just ain't gonna work mugsy bogues did it yeah <laughs> right. Nate johnson did it right so 
I don't know. It's it's uh it's interesting. I haven't even like been following football. Like I need to read up and see about like who went where and I like I used to when I play fantasy football I'd be so on top of all that stuff. But I burnt myself out. Hey man, you know, times change, man. Prioritization. Yeah, well, I but played. I, I played very hardcore for a very long time, and uh, just it just lost its luster, man. I'm just I'm just glad to be back here with the good old brownies, just putting the mud hole stomp in these freaking Texans. We're not really stomping mud. It's we're only <laughs> up by a touchdown. <laughs> it's about to be two right here, though. I hope, dude. It's about to be two right here, though. I mean, you're not wrong. I guarantee. <laughs> Hold one and score the other for the other team just to make you, you wrong. <laughs> you should have saw his eyes widen too. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's oh. like I'll, get, I'll hit four home runs for you tonight, sick kid. Oh, he just folds his arms and looks into the booing crowd, dude. That's got to be a good feeling. He's just like, I'm going to oh. make you. Oh, they scored again, so it's only a touchdown again. Feed me your hate, Jonas, right? Yeah, dude, I would love to go, like, to be a. a, a I think one of the best feelings ever would be like to intercept a, the home team's quarterback and run it back for a touchdown, and you're standing in the end zone and they're booing you, oh. and you're just like, <laughs> you're just like, yep. Oh, dude. You hate me so much right now. I know, dude. I, I get that super villain complex when that happens. Like, <laughs> feed me your loathe. Ooh, see. Wow. Is that another up in the middle of the field, friend. Is that another boo situation, guys? Well, we're boo? at home. I don't think they're booing. Oh, what are they? They're saying boo words. <laughs> boo, boo. Boo, boo words. Booty. <laughs> yeah. Give me the booty. All right. So we got, tw oh, yeah, we're about to run this clock out. We about to win. We could have just knelt it, but I'm going to get a couple more yards, hopefully. That don't blow me up into. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That you was... lost a couple of yards yeah, there. Yeah, dude. Spun him around. He spin him right round. All right, we got three seconds, so. Actually, let me. Yeah, man, let's go for it. Get them points on the board. Yeah, absolutely. BM on them, Jonas. This, this ain't real football. This is fake football. Oh, uh, they, come on. That was an interference. But the, like, you already won. Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> Gosh darn it. Let me see this new Dang. animation. Wow. Oh, this time. Now they focus on the chart as it bounces on the ground. I uh, know. That guy had no neck, by the way. Did you know uh, that? He might not in real life. He so. was sans neck. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Tell us that you love Madden. We love it, too. That is a great new logo. For Jonas. TNT. We are out. Uh,